Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today I'm doing a special video. I had a comment the other day on my GNOME Boxes review, and the comment basically was, it would be nice if Windows 11 would run in GNOME Boxes. So, what I did was opened up Windows 11 installer in GNOME Boxes, installed it, and I am presently running it. And not only that, I've downloaded some programs and we're going to run it through some tests. Right now, I'm recording this video on Shotcut, running in Windows 11, in GNOME Boxes, in Manjaro KDE. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. You want to follow me on my socials? Buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Now, what I think is really interesting is I'm doing this on a laptop. It's only got 8 gigabytes of RAM. Like I said, I'm running Manjaro KDE with known boxes, and Windows is installed in it. It's showing that my battery is charging over here. I've got volume control. My microphone is obviously showing because I'm recording this in OBS. And basically, I want to go through some settings here. Let's go to the settings. And it's recognizing my Zen book. It's completely updated and installed and completely updated everything inside of Windows. But you have all your system settings, display. You can adjust your display. If I come over here, I want to drop it down to 125. I can drop it down to 125. My resolution is 1920 by 8, 1080. Multiple displays, advanced displays. Now, like I said, I am running this on a laptop, so you might hear my fans kick up a little bit, and if you do, I want to apologize for that. With this experiment, I wanted to go all out and see if we could actually get good functionality in GNOME boxes with Windows 11. Bluetooth and devices, those are all discoverable. Network, internet, personalization, apps. One thing I did see during all of this was that Instead of showing it as an internet connection, it is showing as Wi-Fi. But hey, I'm running Windows 11 inside of GNOME boxes, so no telling. Then you got your apps, your accounts, time and language, gaming, accessibility, privacy, security. So you've got all these right here, and they function quite well. Now, what I do want to do is I've downloaded VirtualBox, and I've downloaded GIMP. I don't know if I'm going to get to the GIMP example, but I'm going to go ahead and open up VirtualBox. And I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to pin it there for now so I got access to it. And I'm going to try to run a virtual machine inside of Windows 11 installed on GNOME boxes running on Manjaro KDE. So we're going to go ahead and go New. We're going to come over here, and we're just going to call it Linux. And go Next. We're going to issue it 2 megabytes of RAM. Next. Do not add a virtual disk because we're going to run it in live mode. And it'll say, your, yes, we know that. Okay, so there's my base system. Let's go ahead and open up settings. System, we're going to leave it at 2 megabytes. Processor, we're going to give it 2. Uh, don't got to worry about acceleration. Display, I'll go ahead and leave that at 16. That should be fine. And then I've downloaded add Devon Beowulf. Let's choose that. And click OK. And let's go moment of truth and see if this thing will fire up. And we'll go ahead and go live mode. And let's go full screen. Now, I'm expecting to have display problems with this, but we will see. I'm not really sure. And there is opening up. Let's go up to applications. Let's find settings and display. Let's see if we can adjust. Doesn't have, doesn't seem to be showing 1920 by 1080. So let's try 1680 by 1050. Okay, that seems to be working well. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go back up to application menu. Internet, let's try to open a browser. Okay, and Firefox has opened up. Let's just do a search for eBuzz Central. And there's eBuzz Central. So it's working. So that experiment definitely went better than I thought it was going to. Let's go ahead and view. Let's go full screen mode and let's close. Power off the machine. OK. And OK. Next, I want to show you mail. I went ahead and preloaded some mail. OK. 
I'm going and showing you some deleted items because I don't want you to see my main mailboxes. But over here, I have all three of my email accounts in here. They are linked. Matter of fact, I got a new email as we speak. But as you can see, everything's showing up over here. Mail is running just fine. Got some Twitter notifications, something from GNC. But like I said, I didn't want to show you my main mailboxes. You've got your calendar down here. The calendar will open up and you can use it. And then your contacts switch to a to-do list and then your settings for mail. So mail functions and operates just fine. We'll close out of that. You've got chat, widgets, you've got desktops, you've got your search. I do see a little flicker on my recycle bin every now and then. I don't know what that could be, but who knows? Maybe I could fine tune some of the adjustments there. And I downloaded GIMP as well. And it opens up. Everything is going really smooth, really fast. Windows 11 runs awesome in GNOME boxes. So if that's something you want to do, if you want to try Windows 11 in GNOME boxes, you can. Like I said, this was a comment from a subscriber to my channel asking me about Windows 11 running in GNOME boxes, and it runs really smooth. If you want to download GNOME boxes, throw Windows 11 in it, give it a run. I don't think you'll be upset at all. If you're somebody that loves Linux but has to have Windows around for some reason, for some piece of software or for a job or whatever you might need it for, this is a good answer. Have Linux on your main machine, download GNOME boxes, throw Windows 11 in it, and use it when you need to. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.